make it, Jesus. Have you come to Canada? <laughs> Good morning. I'm in Ontario, Canada, on the way to the home of Mark and Joy to have a Bible study together with my friends in Canada. Come along and go with me. The connection in Canada actually began almost 27 years ago. I was asked to speak at a weekend meeting in Burlington, Ontario to assist in helping an individual start a new church. On Saturday night, after the meeting, two couples, David and Beth and Frank and Starlene, came up to greet me. After we greeted each other, they said to me, how wonderful it would be if I could come to Kitchener, Ontario. After I told them that I could come to their city, they responded that they were not leaders of any local church. I told them, it's okay. I would be overjoyed to meet with them in a home Bible study. A short time later, they invited and I came. Over the years, we have met primarily in the homes of David and Beth, Frank and Starlene, Kent and Lynn, Dale and Joel, and now in the home of Mark and Joel. Although each home Bible study would pass from 12 to 20 in attendance, during the course of those meetings over the years, there has been probably between 200 to 250 different people attend the meetings at various times. Although I have had the opportunity to speak to crowds of 10 to 12,000 many times, the love that I experienced from the Canadian connection in those home Bible studies has affirmed again and again the power of the grace of God can ultimately only be experienced in close relationships with others. Is it any wonder that the early followers of Jesus changed their world not in mass meetings but in the intimate relationships of people gathering together in their homes. The grace of God has changed the lives of many of those people meeting with us in the Canadian Connection. Thanks for coming along in this journey into the grace of God. If you like this gospel, Traveling with James, help us out. Share it with a friend. Until next time,